race course, you're always a little bit nervous, but she did look to walk well. Her Ramwick 1,600-metre record is seven starts for one win and two placings. I reckon she's about to improve that, Richard. The, the feeling is she's going to go from good to very good to maybe great this preparation. And how good is Chris Waller at doing this with these mares? Five-year-old mares. I mean, what he was able to do with Winks was unbelievable the way he didn't over race her early didn't over race her as even as a four-year-old man it was even very elegant you know it's a five-year-old one five group ones there's a five-year-old one five of a 11 group ones uh, hot horse ben yeah we'll go with fangirl best of luck to those multi punters out there i dare say a few had the storm boy fangirl multi maybe the favorite in new zealand thrown in there but either way this will be the last leg for many lizzie so ben. yeah go on love Certainly will, Ben. And uh, just looking at these horses behind the gates, Bruce, when you look at this race and the Apollo stakes leading into this race, you know that it's that traditional lead-up. You've seen 14 of the last 20 winners have been able to come out of the Apollo. So I think that it does look like the natural progression that Chris has used each and every year. Absolutely. He's used it to perfection. He's won 10 of them in such a short time. TJ took a lot longer. Do you know... When TJ won this race, it was a group two. So none of those count to his 246. None of them count. And all of Chris's do. So <laughs> wherever you are, TJ, right now, don't worry. You won enough. Oh, he'd be annoyed, <laughs> wouldn't he? As uh, Lindemann comes forward in the Deb Capitas colours. She's got those colours being She's carried. She's right behind by you, isn't she? Rocket coming up in the Australian Guineas. And, of course, her family colours are being carried by Fangirl. Um, here's Darren Flindell. Lizzie, hang on tight. I think she'll win. On the tab, very elegant field, is ready to go. Stand by. $1.30 about Van Girl. They're off and racing. She'll settle last from the outside draw. Just fine, pumped out of the gates. Lindemann bounded there, but just fine, just in front of Lindemann. Navajo Peak moves to third on the outside of Think It Over. Two lengths to Athabaskan, then came Arapaho, Cascadiana, and the long odds on favourite Fangirl parks on the outside and settles about nine lengths off the lead, which is just fine. The Metropolitan winner galloping hard in the lead by two lengths on Lindemann, who's got to a clear second, so there should be no traffic issues today for Lindemann. Two and a half for the back to Navajo Peak. The pace is solid. Then think it over. Fourth is about four off the lead. A gap of three to Athabaskan. Then came Arapaho from Cascadian and Fangirl up on the outsides. Last of all, 800 metres to go. Just fine. Looking to protect his unbeaten record at the track. Leads by two lengths on Lindemann. A gap to Navajo Peak. Think it over. Quietly rim the rails. Further back to Arapaho from Athabaskan. McDonald sitting pretty quiet on Fangirl. Second last on the outside. Side of Cascadia and 500 to go now. Just finds coming well off the fence. Lindemann goes with him. Nash is staying towards the inside of Think It Over and he's pinched ground pretty quickly. And Think It Over dashes to the front of the 300 from Lindemann. And now Fangirl is starting to cut loose wide out three off the lead. It's Think It Over a length to Lindemann. Fangirl is closing in. It's Think It Over a length and a half to Fangirl. Think It Over is kicking hard. Think It Over wants it. Fangirl can't get there. And the King of Kembla, think it over, was able to beat Fangirl about a length on the wire. Then came Lindemann from Cascadian, further back to Arapaho, Athabaskan, Navajo Peak, just fine, weakened to finish last. He's a remarkable oh. animal, isn't he, Lizzie? I mean, you think about this horse and the injury, a big, big injury. He won a Liverpool City Cup on this day three years ago. He's now gets his third group one, and Nash has done it again. He's such a clever rider. James rode confidently, rode like he was on the best horse. She looked to have a chance late, but he's held her off. I just love this horse, Lizzie. He is an absolute star, but I think the guy on his back is equally as important.